And just finally, it seems like this happens every week, but it's a former club of Paul Rain, I believe, where it's known, just one of many that he's had over his long and distinguished professional career. Yeah, he had a good time there with, with Tommy Taylor, but the, uh, Tommy Taylor's a bit like me, and the, a bit like every manager is these days, but uh, back then it was on, they used to have a, uh, get the players on the scales and wear them in every, every Friday. And, uh, and Paul Rainer talks of a great story, but he used to starve himself from Wednesday to Friday. He'd get in early and the manager used to say, great attitude, Rains, looked at those scales, bang on, Rains, great attitude. He says, he used, when, because he was so early, he used to duck out the back door at late night, nip round the corner, a little local cafe, full fry up, but a loaf of toast, <laughs> two big mugs of coffee, and run back, Rains, and <laughs> cafe used to say, you're a bit sluggish on a Friday, Rains. <laughs> so, so, um... But I know he, uh, he's he's remembered formerly there. I'm sure he should be. He had a good spell there, and um, and we look forward to going there. We we know it'll be very very tough, and um, and the good people don't that mind the scenes. The good people, and uh, we look forward to seeing them. Of course, obviously, Reigns doesn't do that fried breakfast anymore, does he? He's a modern coach these days. Well, we, we you know the the problem we have is when when we wear him, he seems to be busy up the top and organising the players and. You know when he said he's not had any breakfast and then you're looking at that eggy brown sauce mark around his face and I can't say on top of what colour his hair is because that might be taken out of context.